High Tech High International, a charter school in Point Loma, is home away from home for nearly 400 9th through 12th grade students. Founded on project-based learning, globalization, and technology, this school has often been portrayed as the model for education's future. However, there is more to this story. This place was previously known as Building 51. Built in 1952, it was the foundry on the former Naval Training Base. Tracking back further through time, this used to be the land of the Native American Kumeyaay tribe. With humans living and dying here for so many generations, the question soon arises. Is our building haunted? I love stories, and I really do believe that people have experienced things here. Uh, some experiences were like just seeing people that were there for like a second, and then like when I'm actually like focusing on that area, they're gone. It was a lot of voices, a lot of shadow movements. In the middle of the night, you would hear doors like slamming like and I heard, I heard like a scream. I heard a, what I can only describe as a woman screaming. Uh, it was very high pitched. As you see, various people have reported paranormal activity at our school, varying from shadowy figures, slamming doors, and flickering lights to what is most often reported, a muffled female scream. After hearing these stories, ninth grade humanities teacher Jill Ciodini became interested. Last year, Mr. Major and I did a project in which we took our students camping, and one of our chaperones was Ed Handog. And we were sitting around the campfire one night, and we were telling ghost stories, and Ed all of a sudden said, do you guys want to hear a ghost story about the school? And he proceeded to tell us a story about all these different experiences that he has had while working here alone late at night. As they talked, an idea began to form. They wanted to figure out the truth behind these stories, and slowly, our project came into life. As a team, we then investigated the physics behind ghosts, looking into sound and light, as well as looking into the history surrounding NTC. Soon, San Diego ghost hunters became involved, bringing their specific expertise to the project. It culminated by spending two overnights at the school to investigate the reported paranormal activity. We wanted to finally settle the question, is our school truly haunted?